morning ladies and gentlemen boys and girls so we are heading to the city of san diego today we have this time together i have about a two hour drive to get there tuner evo was definitely a very good event it was well thought well put together and uh, shout out to everybody who was out there it's crazy because while being out there not only did i see a bunch of people who i knew there was also a bunch of builds that i have seen before and that is because of the polls that I do on Chillflow. So I do own a brand called Chillflow. From that page, I meet a bunch of different people from all over the entire world. And I can't keep track of, you know, everybody from California. But when I do see the builds in person, I'm like, wait a minute, this car feels very, very familiar. It looks familiar. It feels like I know this car, like I've been inside of it because with the polls, I have done anything from interior to trunk to engine bay down to the wheels so it's like i've pretty much diagnosed the entire car but via pictures and also their profiles going through it and of course giving them that elimination round so in the very beginning i had originally said you know origin is going to be the next biggest event well instagram there's always a bunch of different stuff so if you guys haven't followed me on instagram it's penny the bar underscore i'll put the little flash up right now Looking around on Instagram, there's always a bunch of different events, a bunch of different meets coming up, and there's always upcoming groups. There's always going to be somebody that is trying to grow, and I support them 100%, you know, even though I don't know the people. I know for an event coming up now as Origins, that's going to be a mixture of everything. Hypercars, regular cars, drift builds, they have the whole entire drift track going on over there, which I think is absolutely nuts. I can't wait to go over there and show you guys that. Definitely February is going to be an eventful type of month for car shows, car events, and car meets. Now, today I was going to originally go to Auto Conduct in the city of Los Angeles, but I have been there multiple times. Last time I was there is for the vintage uh, Japanese meet. And if you guys haven't seen it, like I, uh, I say all the time, just scroll through the videos along the page, either grand opening once again, to uh you know the public where they'll showcase the cars of which they're storing there so i think that's pretty cool to give an opportunity for other enthusiasts to store their cars there there's also another meet happening at detail garage bueno park but like i said we've been there before it is hosted with honda girl society i'm not too sure if it's still the same people who is still running that that is happening all today tomorrow the fifth fifth like i said we're gonna have the cars and coffee classics uh it's called what's it called classic cars and coffee literally classic cars and coffee after that it's going to be um over there night claremont so you guys seen before i was at the ambassador meet and hey if i get a mopar be an ambassador of you know join their program and everything get perks and discounts and stuff that'd be pretty cool you know mopar boys but we're gonna enjoy our cars and coffee over there. I have asked different like people on Instagram via stories. What would you guys rather see? Now my, that's my question to you guys on YouTube that has recently subscribed to me. Thank you, of course. And uh, I just want to know what do you guys rather see? Would you rather see me trying to like attempt my way of doing cinema shots or like montage? If you guys want me to do montage videos. Or if you want, I could just go over there like today. New area, their gathering is not too big. But yeah, I support small groups. So I'm gonna be doing reviews of cars to my knowledge. Now, if I say things all wrong, correct me in the comments below, you know? But I guess we're gonna do a vlog style video today. There's gonna be a lot of different events happening this month and already next month. There's already a lot of exciting events. Look at these guys. Civic and Nikita just racing each other. Not racing they're mobbing but yeah i'll catch you guys when i hit up the bay area classic cars in san diego we have made it after a two hour long drive nice little stretch we have made it so we are here at um the location that they posted up there's a few cars here that look really nice in the background you can see them i did pass by the san clemente uh outlets over there they have Saturday morning car meets all the time every Saturday and I do have a few videos up on the page as well it actually was one of the videos that uh, blew up before the lowrider meet blew up 
but if you guys haven't already just go to the thing hit like on all the videos hit that subscription button as well and uh, let's get exploring some vehicles Walking around, you've got this guy from Washington being a clown. Six cylinder. Not even a six, I think it's, I don't even know. It's, it sounds so ratchet. I mean, he was driving it earlier, but really, dude. Here to the right, you have a Hot Wheel vendor. I don't buy Hot Wheels from people no more unless they have Fiat's. Got with a C8 already taken off. He's like, nope, I'm not staying around. <laughs> M5 here, Rohana wheels. I do want to get some of these for the Civic if I do not make it a little rider, but nice fitment right there. And uh, charger right here on some slicks, it's Mickey Thompson. Jeez. This kitty is strapped, man. Looks nuts. And he's got that drag pack set up, skinny wheels in front. Who's he running? I like that coffee interior. It's something different. So I know it's like a an older charger for sure, but this thing looks sick. And then of course you have this McLaren right here. And uh Yeah, I mean that's really it. I'm, I guess we'll head to San uh San Clemente Outlet to see what they have here. Savage E90. Car's pretty sick, bro, it's clean. It's like an M3 style design we ran. All right, this morning was a little bit sad, but I mean, it was still relatively early. This is when people show up and get a little ratchet. This one I try not to be around, but you guys see right behind me, besides this guy right here, this truck right here, which I parked right here to show you guys. So underscore six TYY3, he is selling his mini truck. It's like that, it is bagged, it is cut, so it's on the floor. So if you guys want to get a good truck, a mini truck like that, hey, $8,000 to get it. That's his Instagram, underscore 6TYY3. But yeah, uh, we made it over here to San Clemente Outlets. So let's go ahead and explore what's around here. All right, so starting off here in the lower floor, it's already this nice little Porsche right here. It reminds me of Stuart Little. Even though we're at a car meet, you still stay safe, obviously. And who knows, sometimes these people aren't even the, the people to <laughs> be part of the show. They're just ones that are shopping here at the mall. Super excited that I made it down here just in time. There's another Porsche right there. Except for this one's running. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. All right, coming up right here, you got this nice S2K yellow spoon. Does he have any spoon parts on there? Or he's got a Mugen brace bar back there, okay. Sailor Moon. Got some titanium lug nuts, perhaps. Oh, they're just colored in like that. Don't know, but clean S2K right next to his dark horse over here. This thing looks evil. It's all blacked out. Oof, right next to the C8. Oh my goodness. Right down here, moving along. A little cappuccino in the morning. Bunch of clean BMWs. Oh my goodness. No plate, no case. Do Oh, look at this one's got clear tails on the rear end. I really do love the look of clear tails. And he's even got the JDM bent plate. <laughs> There's a gem right there for you. Nice NSX. Looking hella NSXy. Some nice wheels right there. Is it red on bronze? Quick release stand wheel. Shout out VQ versus the world. There you go. This would believe this is like the Nissan's attempt of a G37, but in the build progress, we respect all builds on this channel. All right, I'm seeing this nice 350C over here. It is really chilly this morning, too. These Chryslers are sitting nice. Hello, TC. Get it. You have a Mustang. Man, it's the Mustang boys really killing the meats, huh, this morning? 
Tell me exhaust, perhaps? Midnight series. Really simple looking sticker. But it's pretty clean. I like it. Castle. That's crazy. I got here just in time for the rolling. KDM scene right here. Honda Jenny. And the Kia Stinger. I believe it's on bags. Because it doesn't look like a static. Ooh. Hey, no rips. G6 is pretty clean. Got this uh, Mustang Compa J sitting on some slicks. It's got those Euro tail lights. I'll tell you, those clear tail lights look dope. Dang, car meets back in the 30s, be like. Sheesh. That's the original OG spoke wheels right there. Look at this RS3. Oh my goodness. Damn. It's an aggressive looking booty. Compared to like the stock one to this one, just those vents set it alone. But tell me why, I don't know why. It looks like a Corolla, the Apex. I know I said that, it really does. I mean, even the this one's on some T37s, T the world around, around here, really. Some really nice big brakes and everything, man. Carbon fiber mirror caps. Look at the other ones, look serious. They're relatively the same, but this one has more diamond pattern than this one right here. Gotta love them classics, man. I think it's crazy back in the 70s, this used to be a normal everyday thing. And now, it's like, oh my goodness. It's a rare thing to see these nowadays. Registered in Texas. It's dope. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Why is this thing not up there where all the expensive cars are at? This guy's just hiding down here. He just got here too, you can tell. I mean, the engine bay is really, really hot. So that's one way I can tell, definitely. This thing's a beauty. I mean, that one's really nice too, but man. See one of these in person. People? Person? I don't even know. 765 LT has got that really nice two-tone. I believe I had this one on the channel before. That looks like it's a paint too. You can see a little scuff mark right there. It's probably somebody's hand, definitely, but the orange, the black accents. Oh my God, dude. All that carbon fiber. I love this top end exhaust right here. It's absolutely insane. The aerodynamics on this thing is real. It's even got 765 LT on the wheels that's nice and it's all orange and, and black jesus man this thing's like pumpkin ready the interior is orange and black as well with the orange and black stripe on the steering wheel it's a really nice mclaren oh my god oh my god downstairs parking lot is definitely underappreciated there's always some gems downstairs but now let's head upstairs into the good stuff what i changed my mind before we go up these stairwells we're just gonna come down here Visit these Teslas. No, I'm kidding. This one right here reminds me of Stranger Things. Van Wagon L. It's got a whole entire conversion in there too, huh? Little cabinet tops and everything. That's nice. It's another Volkswagen over here. Little hippie bus. This is actually what they call the. They had the glass top bubbles. But there's like 27 windows on there. I don't know. But all the windows on the top. This thing's pristine, man. It's clean. Bubble top. Good morning. Morning. Always oh, stay nice to everybody around here. This one looks nice. It's got packed with some these wheels right here. Belgian wheels. I've never even heard of those, but they look like a little like the Hellcat inspired, but yeah. Let's see, there's a Viper right there. Another BMW casually walk past these cars because there's a lot of people here s14 cookie front end that's what they call k-h-o-u-k-i yeah just another civic this one's on some stock wheels but looking nice clear tails look at that countertop rear area that's nice i used to have that as my uh dash panel in the fiat this Jenny right here is a really nice wrap as well. It's carbon fiber. Those taillights are really, really nice. Exotic cars and the nice classics and that one smart car. I 
think that's it for that area. Let's go ahead and just uh, let's keep walking around, guys. Absolutely nuts. I mean, even though we got here like 30 minutes late, they've already packed out the entire parking lot. Last time I came here, I mean, it was raining, so nobody was really here. But it's such an amazing day already. Oh, she's so sexy. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay, this thing has a lot of heat wrap going on here. What is happening? So I believe that is the intake side of everything or what exactly am I looking at guys? Because I see the air ducts. So it has to be intake. But why is it so wrapped up? It looks scary. Alright, moving along down on the C63 side. So there's literally like seven of them over here. The screen one is dope. I did take a picture of it before. Uh, I was actually with it. This thing is nice. That wide body. And then the hood is either painted or wrapped. It looks like it's wrapped. So it's a wrapped hood, but it's carbon fiber. They just matched the wrap of the car. Yeah, you can tell it's a wrap. Corners are a little bit off, but it still looks really, really nice. Wanna be 63? Ha, C69. I love it. I love it. Got the AMG exhaust, stock AMG exhaust. Of course, maybe it has some cutoffs, but I love it. The clowning on this car is a freaking amazing. That white body is so sexy. Oh my goodness. It has the stock center caps. AMG brakes? Is it even an AMG question mark? It says regular turbo instead of bi turbo. So I don't know if it's a regular, I don't know if it's AMG. But still, this one has to be my favorite one out of all of them just because that white body. Right next to it, obviously, you do have the AMG, so you can see different size brakes. This guy's packing some slicks on the back. Put down some serious power here. Handcrafted by Oliver Becker. Shout out to that guy. He's even got a pulley upgrade on the supercharger. Supercharged? Wait a minute, did I just say that? Not by turbo? Hold on. What? What? Okay, this has to be maybe my second favorite right here. But this one for sure because of all the clowning around i love it hell yeah so got lucifer's car over here you guys haven't seen the hit series on netflix lucifer you'd be driving one of these things without the top of course individual throttle bodies looking sick clean Man, this thing's a beauty right next to the c8 so many different generations right after it Talking about C8s and Corvettes. This Corvette over here is for sale. C6. I think it's cool how Corvettes color match their headlights. Y'all want a C6? That's the phone number right there. Hit them up. Don't prank call these people, guys. I'm just trying to give them some advertisements. We're staring at all this over here. What are we staring at? What are you looking at? Well, it's good to see it out here. Heat wrapped. <laughs> wrapped the liner. Everything's cleaned up. All painted and everything. Really nice engine bay. It's a legit race car. Hang loose. Swing hard. All wheel drive? Question mark. This BMW is pretty sick too. It's an M4. So my question is... BMW... M4. Uh oh. Is this TJ Hunt's car? No, it can't be. It would have Hunt Co on the back. But I know it's a snake rolling on by. Oh man. Shelby GT 350. It's beautiful. Alright, so I see somebody else repping TJ Hunt sweater over there. Keep moving sideways. Now my question is, amongst all these individuals, is TJ Hunt here? Because this has to be his M4. I swear it has to be, because this is the only M fighters over here. These things are insane. I do plan on doing something like this to the Civic, question mark. Because I mean, lowriders have a whole different suspension components to compared to a, a regular subframe vehicle. All right, let's see here. Let's go look around in the back. 
Got that pump set up back there and everything. Sales hydros go all the way up. Oh man, look at this custom paint job over here. A little kicker right there. It's nice. I got two of those in the Nissan. So, all right. So I don't know. I don't think it's TJ Hunt's car, but this right here, I think it's some guys putting that low rider stickers. So he does sell wire wheels. So hey, getting closer and closer to getting that Civic on some hydros. A Ford ST. This is almost like my uh, homeboy's Fiat 500 where you put hella high wheels on there for off-roading. And yes, he does take that Fiat off-roading. And yes, they did say a Fiat 500 Abarth off-roading. This guy right here again with this nice BRZ. If you guys love Chargers like I do, make sure to hit that subscription button so you don't miss out. But there will be tomorrow, cars and coffee with a bunch of Mopars right after our uh, meet in the morning over there with some classic Hondas. All right, so all the way down the line, this GTR right here kind of reminds me of the GTR from Stradman because of the white wheels. I know it's not, but T37 in the world, of course. That's a really nice GTR, right next to a baby GTR. Sick. How does he close the hood on this thing, man? pretty sick saline supercharger with an OG I like that flat intake it's pretty sick so 81 supercharger trying to read everything around here for you guys to see it it is a manual oh man the white interior as well and he has it signed that's dope Ooh, baby. in burgundy have you guys ever seen a burgundy GTR around town I haven't is it a wrap yes it is but still, oh my goodness. Actually, let's see here. I'm trying to find a corner. It might not be a wrap. It might actually be a paint job. We'll find the flaw right now. We'll find the flaw. Let's see here. Flawless wrap? Question mark? I don't know. Still pretty sick. It's a really nice color on this GTR. I love burgundy cars. This guy got a GoPro right here. Man, I can gap you in my car now. <laughs> He's got some wells on there. Oh, yeah. So, I can confirm it's not TJ Hunt's car, sadly. But, I mean, I know he does come here to the South OC Cars and Coffee. But, of course, he'd be hanging out with the more famous people over here. Still really nice to see this car in person. So close. And um, you don't know I am rocking the hunt. Hoodie. Right hand drive. Morning. Well, we're gonna get walking around this section later on, but some other influencers around here. Uh, but I'm gonna skip the entire influencer section and head out to this line of vehicles. A nice entry way down yonder. Oh, look at that puppy. I love dogs, man. I don't love them to own them, but I love seeing them. So adorable. It's a really nice color to see. Sexy GTR. The blue with the titanium exhaust. Look at this guy doing a video. Hell yeah. Get those angles, bro. Get those angles. Okay, before I get to the main parking lot. Let's, uh, let's do some speed walking here, huh? Right, that was a quick little walk. For you guys, it took two seconds. For me, it took a whole hour. This really nice R8. That's what caught my eye. And this thing right here. Ooh, that color is sitting pretty. It's got the red badge to let you know. E63 AMG. This thing's nice. It's got to sound really nice too. Pretty sure he's got some exhaust work done. Cause I believe it's not a lowering, it's on a new thing called lowering cups. So basically it helps lower the car if you got to get up and down driveways and stances it just a little bit. Or you could be on lowering springs. All right. So getting back to the big lot right here. Look at this guy. That's a really nice one too. Lime green with the lime green interior. Man. All he needs is some lime green wheels. He's even got a lime green license plate. Man's got money, money. 
Okay, so before I get to the main lot, keeping it OG with this hot rod, literally. Nice Bel Air, big old blower through the top, purple flames on a red body. Freaking insane, dude. Stock interior still, has some straps on there. Look at this Bel Air, man, it's nice. Five hole, ha <laughs> ha. And Goon Squad building up their little Porsche, but this is a base model right here. Still, this color is outstanding. That's a nice Bel Air. So. Porsche GT3. That Porsche, like I said, has been on the channel multiple times. <laughs> Traveling the world just recently, Walnut. It's a nice R8. It's an older one. Beautiful RX7, some TE37s. Another RX7. Scat Pack Challenger. And ah, look at those wheels. So wide body, but I believe he's uh, all the way aired up. And I got awkward there taking a picture over there, but it's another GTR yonder. Oh yeah, Camaro, Camaro. This car is pretty interesting. This is actually, how I'm tripping. This is also a concept car though. It's a Hellcat right there, white body, F-type. Look at this vet right here, oh my goodness. Actually, I'm not gonna get a picture, I'll just get to to walk around in this thing he's selling this car phone number on the dash don't prank call him you know it dang selling with no rubber <laughs> oh yeah this thing's done some mileage but it's understandable with that supercharger i think it's sinister looking though the green and the bronze got these c8s over here taking their tops off butterfly doors big wings chassis mountain wing yeah, chest is mountain. Wow. Old timers. It's crazy looking. Carbon fiber interior. Uh, engine bay. Damn. These are beautiful. We made it. We're here. Y'all see it? A lot of beautiful cars out today. This purple one is beautiful. This pink Supra over here. I am doing those polls, so all I see is color now. Argo Kendall on YouTube, Instagram. Just the pink wrap, painted calipers. Still a Supra though, at the end of the day. Hybrid, put some wheels on there, can't park it. It's okay. There's Audi over here, there's an R8 over there. So the influencers cars, Let's see what we have. Do I know anybody? I don't think I do, but. So we got Gallardo, McLaren, that's the seven series. This is a 458. They're obviously a Ventador, RS6. So many nice cars, man. We got the Volkswagen Bugs over here. And this Huracan Spider, nice. So a long time ago, I had somebody explain to me what this is, Maserati MC20. There's only like a few hundreds of these in the world. And they have like, basically they sold out when they started even like talking about them. Looks nuts. Oh, we have this GTR over here too. It's just at Tune Revo. I think it looks nice. I've also had this car f uh, featured at Fuel Fest. I guess I can get a little closer, but currently right now there's too many people around. So I don't like coming in, in occupied places. This one was also at Tuner Evil. If you guys haven't seen the video, it is out there. He's got those Liberty Walk wheels. It's crazy looking. And yes, he does have carbon fiber barrels as well. This one is not, but it's even matched the interior like that. That I did not see at Tuner Evo, but that's pretty sick. And then this guy right here, he's got so many different cars, but the chrome wrap is insane looking. 
that's it for today's video it's a little bit different obviously i'm talking a lot more than getting closer shots uh something that i've been experimenting you have that yaris the gr those are only in mexico but now they're down here and then of course if you guys haven't seen the other videos on uh, sunday i have featured this car here gen x kid and his huracan so if you guys want some more close-up shots of that car you know what to do scroll through the videos and that uh ferrari is super loud too right next to it we did get a little squirrely in the last meet that we were at but yeah, if you guys like the content you are seeing today, go ahead and hit that subscription button. You know what to do. And if you don't, hit that like button so we can all grow together, or vice versa. But it's a really nice day out here in the city of San Clemente at the outlets. Same, same, but different. But yeah, guys, until the next video, stay safe and stay chill.